This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good morning, Arizona. I'm Javier Soto. Here are the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. A two-vehicle rollover crash has taken the life of one person and seriously injured three others. That crash happened near 7th Street and Broadway just after 11 o'clock last night. When officials got to the scene, they discovered the vehicles upside down. A 20-year-old woman, a 29-year-old woman, and a 38-year-old man were transported to the hospital. Another person in the back seat of one of the vehicles was pronounced dead on scene. Sometimes, you know, everything that we do, it, it's not enough, but uh, we do everything we can to um, protect and, and uh, keep everybody safe. Arizona Fire and Medical are sending crews to help battle the Creek Fire burning in Fresno and Madera, California. The crew of four firefighters will be there for up to two weeks working to protect homes from burning. Sedona Fire is also sending a crew to the Creek Fire. The Creek Fire is, has no containment right now and has already scorched nearly 163,000 acres, destroying 365 structures. ASU is choosing a new way to report COVID-19 cases, but it's causing some confusion. The university says it's only displaying current cases on its dashboard. As people recover from COVID, they will not be counted anymore. The university is not displaying the total number of cases it had, leaving no way to compare how the situation is changing over time. Now this week, the university reported a 200 case drop. The president of ASU is addressing the situation later this morning. The state Supreme Court now ruling that Kanye West will not be on the ballot here in the state of Arizona. The rapper turned in enough signatures to qualify as an independent, but a lower court ruled he doesn't qualify because he's registered as a Republican. Ballots for the November election will be printed this week. We've got a may, an amazing morning ahead. Temperatures in the 60s. Try to get outside if you can, and the afternoon ain't too shabby. How about a high of 91 degrees? That is it. Tomorrow, 95. We do warm up a little bit. Friday, 100, and then 104 for your Saturday and Sunday. But that is chump change compared to the summer we've been through. <laughs> Who are you telling? All right, we'll take it. Thank you, Ian. For updates and more stories, all you have to do is download the Arizona's Family News app and make sure you subscribe on our YouTube and Roku channel. I'm Javier Soto. Good morning, Arizona.